it's me again. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the uh, two um, ships I got for Christmas. And uh, I've had them for a little while now and I just wanted to show you because they're so gosh darn cool. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into it. So the uh, first one we're going to be showing is the Amato. And if you want to um, buy these, they're on Amazon for uh, the Amato is $135. The, uh, other ship that I'm going to be showing you this prize is uh, $35. Or not $35, sorry, $70. $70. Um, but uh, yeah, Yamato, Amato, uh, the are all made by Forces of Valor. Uh, they are a ship brand, but uh, yeah, this is the Yamato ship. Uh, it's a very cool ship. Uh, it's got a lot of detail in there. It's not a kit, it's just a very cool ship. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. Uh, it's got a lot of detail in there. It's not a kit, so that makes me a lot happy. It's a lot more happy, happier. Uh, it's got the uh, gold on the front like every Japanese uh, battleship does. It's got uh, two main, main battery turrets and they uh, rotate almost all the way. Uh, yeah, those are really cool. They help go down or up and down but not a lot. Something here. This one's really easy to spin for some reason. This one's not. And it also wiggles. Uh, we got a little uh, secondary um, guns, gun, I guess, goes up and down a lot too. One thing that, uh, when you get this model, is that, uh, this part right here, not the superstructure, but this part, you can see it's a little bit turned to the side, see it's a little tilting like that, but, uh, yeah, that's one of the annoying things that comes with this. Um, bunch of little anti-aircraft guns, like the real thing, got a, uh, big funnel, superstructure, very, very tall. And I'm pretty sure it was like the biggest, um, uh, or the heaviest and uh, tallest battleship, maybe? I can't remember. Oh, uh, we got a little spin thing back here, it doesn't really spin much. But it sh this one also should spin, like, here. This one should also spin, because these two things are the exact same thing. Um, yeah, there's a, uh, another secondary little gun here. Again, I'm pretty sure this thing is, uh it a little bit, yeah. Only a little bit. A uh, bunch of little anti-aircraft guns. Uh, this gun turns. Uh, yeah. Um, we got the uh, stern here. We got a little plane. Uh, it does come. It right there. I did break, break it off because I wanted to play with it. Because you know me, I love to play with stuff. But uh, yeah, that should go right there. Comes with the little floats. Uh, yeah. Here, there's like a little thing. These are where like all the boats are stored, so if it starts sinking, they'll just drop them from here. Two more little guns, uh, two catapults, and a, a big crane. And the amount was so big that it, the, it dropped down a little, and there was like a little storage area down there for little planes. Really, really cool. Uh, we got, oh, let's get this off here. We got four um, guns right here, or not guns, what am I saying? Uh, propellers. Uh, three blades, one big rudder. Uh, you notice that there's two holes there. We'll get to that later. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, the model. Next thing or next ship we're gonna look at is the Missouri. And Missouri is my favorite because I've actually walked on it. And it's a big ship, really nice. Pretty sure it's the uh, biggest uh, battleship ever, or the longest and fastest. Uh, yeah, we got two main battery turrets, and go up and down. They go up and down a lot, like, up, um, like yeah, the Yamato. They also they go up a bunch. Um, yeah, there's a uh, five on each side, so there's a ten in total of little tiny guns that spin. They don't go up and down, but I don't really care because they're so small, but they're so cool. Uh, two small stacks, two structure. Uh, this one's kind of quick because there's not a lot of detail. Or there's a lot of details, but not enough for me to cover. Um, another gun here, but uh, yeah, that's cool. They ha also have like little anti-aircraft guns. So there's one, and then there's also one on top, and then here. And the motto also had it right here. There's two there, and then two here. They are much smaller and less powerful, but they're still pretty cool. Uh, we have two little float things here. Funny story, so. See how uh, they have little holes in them, and that's there. 
they actually were glued on when I got it. And then I took this one off, and then I was like, oh, so maybe I can take this one off. So I took it off, and it just broke off, so I made it so that if you take this one off, you can kind of put this one on. Kind of, you gotta kind of shove it in there. Yeah, if, I, if you buy this mo these models, then you're like a mall freak. I, please don't, like, break it, because you spend a lot of money on these things, and I just treat them like crap, so, yeah. Um, two little, uh, the, I'm pretty sure these, this is called, like, the circle, sh or the circle screw, and it's got two little anti-aircraft guns, and it looks like little, uh, eyes, it's like, two eyes, and then this one, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take these. Oh, yeah, and, uh, this plane, the, uh, float does come off, so if you were to, like, play with this, it would be a real fighter, not a, uh, float plane fighter. Um, it's got two or four propellers, and they're on like a little shaft, weird thing. Uh, two rudders. Again, be really delicate because uh, these propellers, if you like sail them through the Yamato, the I've had two propellers that have broken off, and uh, it's pretty sad. So yeah, definitely be really careful with the uh, propellers. Uh, but yeah. So one thing that's cool about these uh, two models. That one there, like about the same size. I'm pretty sure there's a uh, Arc Royal aircraft carrier, a uh, Enterprise, Bismarck, uh, Arizona. Uh, there's a Hood. There's a. Uh, what is it? Uh, I can't remember the same number. But uh, yeah. Um, and one thing that's cool is that they all come with stamps.